Hey everyone, welcome back to the Imiphone channel. iOS 18 Public Beta is out now. The new features in iOS 18 are really amazing. I've been using it and I find the overall system to be quite stable. I highly recommend everyone to upgrade and give it a try. But have you encountered the issue of iOS 18 Beta not showing up, or experiencing freezing on the Apple logo screen during the update process? No need to worry. This video will help you quickly and smoothly upgrade your phone to iOS 18 with 4 steps. Let's get started. Before you upgrade to iOS 18, I strongly recommend backing up your phone data. The iOS 18 system can be unstable, and downgrading could result in data loss. You can back up your data using iTunes or use iMyPhone Fixbo for a quick and convenient one-click backup. Furthermore, you can use Fixbo for upgrading iOS 17 or downgrading iOS 18. Let me show you how to back up your data with Fixbo. Download Fixbo from description below and open it. Click Backup Data and then wait until it finished. After the backup is complete, your data will be stored in Fixbo. When you want to restore the data, you can simply use Fixbo for one-click restoration. After you have completed the data backup, now let me demonstrate to you how to upgrade to iOS 18 in 4 simple steps. Step 1, Download Fixbo from description below. Launch it and connect your iPhone to the computer. Step 2, Under the iOS Upgrade slash Downgrade tab, choose the Upgrade iOS as you want to get the iOS 18 beta. Step 3, Fixbo will automatically detect your device. Once the info shows up, click the Download button to get the iOS 18 beta firmware. Step 4. Click the Start Upgrade iOS button and put your iPhone into recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and above, instantly click and release the Volume Up key and then the Volume Down key. Press and hold the Side button until you see this. Wait for a few minutes for the software to finish installing the iOS 18 beta on your iPhone. When the process is finished, your iPhone will be rebooted and you can see that your iPhone now is in the iOS 18 beta version. Amazing! Right! And if you want to downgrade iOS 18 to iOS 17 don't worry keep watching. This video is here to guide you through a quick and safe process of downgrading from iOS 18. Before you want to downgrade the system here is the point you must know. Downgrading will result in erasing all the data and settings from your iPhone. Method 1 Downgrade iOS 18 Beta with Imiphone Fixbo Step 1 Download Imiphone Fixbo from the bio in the descriptions below and launch Fixbo, then choose the iOS upgrade slash downgrade from the interface. Step 2 Click the iOS downgrade to downgrade from iOS 18 beta to iOS 17. Step 3 Connect your iPhone to PC with USB. For iPhone 8 and above, instantly click and release the volume up key and then the volume down key. Press and hold the side button until you see this. Step 4 Fixbo will detect your iPhone system and show you the available iOS firmware version to download and downgrade. Click the download button to get the iOS firmware for downgrading. When the firmware is downloaded, click the start downgrade iOS button for Fixbo to begin downgrading your current iOS version to older iOS. In a few minutes, the downgrading process will be complete. Your iPhone will be rebooted automatically and you can see that your iPhone is now reverted to the iOS 17 from iOS 18 beta. Enjoy your previous stable iOS system. After downgrading is completed, if you have backed up your data using iTunes before upgrading, you can go back to the main interface of Fixbo, click on Restore Data, locate your backed up data, and then proceed with one-click restoration. Method 2 Downgrade iOS 18 beta with iTunes to downgrade using iTunes, you must search and download the IPSW file manually. Visit ipswu.me to find the iOS files for your iPhone model, download the file, and wait for the process to finish. Plug your iPhone into your PC. Open iTunes, and navigate to your iPhone. Hold the Shift key on your keyboard, and press Restore. Select the restore.ipswu file that you downloaded. Wait for the restore to complete, and the iPhone to reboot. If you encounter an error or file support issue with iTunes, you can try using the alternative method of iMyPhone Fixbo. Similarly, if you backed up your data using Fixbo before the upgrade, you can also use Fixbo for data restoration. 
Hey, that's all for today's video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you found this video helpful, share them with your friends.